Hey there YouTube, I am back with another part to my Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword Polish walkthrough. And once again, I have done quite a bit of uh, off-screen work and I hired up a bunch of men. So let's actually take a look. You can see that this is just a pretty darn nice party here. And uh, this is about uh, an hour of off-screen work, not really that long. But, uh, I didn't really think you guys needed to see it because, essentially, I, uh, went and raided a bunch of villages and I just kept recruiting more men, got in a couple of fights. Uh, the major things are that, uh, I kind of got the Muscovites and the Cossacks to dislike me so that if the Polish decide to, you know, get in a fight... I can actually assist them. So that's another huge step. Also, the Polish are starting to really like me. Uh, if you go to Nation Relations, I'm at eight with them right now, and that's not that bad. I'm uh, I'm worst off with Sweden. I'm at negative 14, so they will attack me on sight if they see me. And uh, that actually happened once, and I had to retreat, uh, leaving some of my men to die. But uh, I actually got better men to replace them, so I'm happy with that. And I actually have a uh, winged hussar, and these guys are pretty darn awesome. And I, I mean, I have a bunch of really, really good units. Well, I don't know about insanely good, but uh, I've helped out the Swedish at a couple different points. Uh, not the Swedish, I've helped out the Polish at a couple different points now. And so far, so good. So I also got a uh, bunch more marksmen, and I'm uh, really starting to like the marksmen. All right. So, let's go chase after those looters and uh, start things off with a uh, fight. And Okay, this is just going to be a slaughter, but uh, why not? Uh, um, any tasks? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess I didn't click on the uh, battle thing. Uh, or is it already over? No, it's not. Uh, um... Looters. You better not be a manhunter. Okay, yeah, okay. So two of the uh, of the Polish decided to join me, and you'll have no pity. Here we go. Two hundred and fifty-three on six. Should be a pretty even fight, I'd say. No, th this is going to be slaughter. Uh, just everybody charge. Doesn't even matter. And uh, let's watch my allies just completely own them. Oh, there's my winged hussar on front. Owned. One of them got, got ran. Oh, that is ownage right there. Winged hussars are just such a fun unit, and that was one of the main reasons I wanted to play as the Polish. All right. So that was quick. I don't think we lost any men. We should have, anyway. Yep, no men lost anyway. And I'll just capture them anyway. Alright, yep, didn't think I'd uh, be able to upgrade any of my men from that. But, uh, that is basically where we're at so far, and uh, I think what we should do now is do some of these quests. You can see that I have a ton of quests now. Uh, one is to bring wheat to this place, and, uh, to be honest, I do not care about this village, really, so... Not, I'm probably not gonna do that one, because it's only 15 days and I have so many other ones to do. Uh, here, I actually uh, took a special mission from this, uh, colonel here. And res Zem I don't even know how to say that. You guys can see it. And uh, he wanted me to plunder this uh, one village. And uh, let me just show you how much of a time I had at it and how, how lucky I was that the uh, Cossacks did not want to kill me while I was doing it. It's right in between these two major cities of Korsun and Kiev. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Eh, apparently someone's are... Um, Apparently someone's looting it again, but uh, I doubt they'll get as lucky as I did. That was extreme luck on my part. Uh, if the Cossacks had decided to try to stop me, they easily could have. They even had like a bunch of armies just like patrolling the area. And the huge um, plus for the Cossacks would have been their uh, scouts all around their huge fortresses. All right, But luckily enough, it, they did not uh, stop me. Oh, I can't check garrisons. Okay. All right, let's go to Warsaw and uh, see if there's any lord there who can give me a quest. There indeed is. Let's go to the fortress. And I want to talk to you, dude. And I... Th that is just ridiculous name. Oh my gosh, I... No way I can pronounce that. Uh, do I know you? I'm Supup. I am warlord... Yeah. A noble of the Polish Commonwealth and the lord of... Baranovici and... Okay, I don't know. Uh, any tasks? 
No? Alright. Oh, I should probably ask where that one Fyodor guy is, because even on my off-screen work, I could not find him. Smolensk. Okay, I'm going to ride there like the wind, because I, I have so much stuff I need to do with that guy. Uh, Smolensk. Where is it? Where is Smolensk? Odd. I, I typically go there. Am I just being completely blind right now? Ah, oh, there. Okay. Yeah, I knew it was a little bit secluded, but, uh, oh well. Uh, now it's a race to get there before he can, uh, leave. I doubt I'll be able to catch him there. Yeah, I doubt it. Might be able to, though. Oh, he's there. Oh, gosh, thank you. I've been looking for this guy f everywhere. It's just ridiculous. Okay, um, about the task. Yeah, I found him and murdered him. All right, this is blood money. I cannot accept it. And uh, we're now at uh, five. So let's see if we can get the taxes finally lowered. Uh, I could, well, let's attempt to persuade first. Uh, no. Alright. What? Uh, it costs more now. Whatever. Uh, 220 Thaler. Okay. Very well, here's your money. Yep, so, uh, done with that. And now all I have to do is return the one village. I have no idea what the village's name was, because it's been quite a while. Um, uh, was, yeah, this one. No, nope. what am I doing? Uh, Zamoshai. There it is. Okay, it's not that far away. So, we can finally turn in that, but, uh, they, they better give me uh, more than 220 coins for, uh, well, they probably won't. Okay, yeah, they just, it was just experience. Yeah, alright. Bring in the vent. As you know, Master, there is war in these lands. Traders no longer pass through the villages with their goods. We must go buy everything at the town market, but our people fear traveling to the town. The road is too dangerous. If you'll bring us some goods, we would pay you well for it. Yeah, sure. Uh. Uh, alas, this means we have a part of our needs. Deliver all the goods and we should. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to bring them. Um. Bring goods. Three bags of salt. Right. That's actually quite a bit of money. Uh, not like I can't spare it, but uh, instead, let's just go and, uh, you know, burn this village. And that's a Muscovite lord. <laughs> His name is also Theodore. Um, ooh. Tons of reiters. Uh, yeah, I can't handle that. Alright. Let's go talk to him. Yeah, the villagers have joined the battle on my side. <laughs> and they're Swedish, and the Swedish hate me, but I suppose the villagers wouldn't. Uh, greetings, sir, and always remember that a noble warrior should be just and upright. Yeah, okay, nothing. Uh, I don't want to make peace with the Swedish, but I'm not with the Muscovites, but, uh, yeah. I kind of just want him to, uh, you know, get out of here, so I can, you know, burn it myself, but, uh, that's fine. I'll find a different place. Uh, that place looks good. Just wherever I can, I'm going to burn a Swedish place, just in my nature. Uh, hopefully I won't be stopped here. That will be bad if it does happen like that. And hopefully it'll give me some salt. I doubt it will give me three bags of salt. I'm really surprised they're asking for that much, because salt is actually a bit of money. But uh, it doesn't look like you're going to stop me here. Yep, couldn't spare the manpower, I suppose. Oh, perfect. Three bags of salt. Linen, lever, 
Excellent. Alright. So, now we can head back to Zamoshai. And you really want to actually be careful after you burn a village to the ground that uh, there's not enemies around you because you could easily be um, trapped and uh, forced into a fight. And then you'd have to leave some men to die, but uh, it can be bad if there's a huge army. Alright, Elder. Uh, I come to talk about the goods. Uh, okay. They give me any? Alright, that's... Uh, oh, 900 Thaler. Wow, that's actually decent. Um, can I offer more aid? Nope. Excellent. So we're done with the Moshai, which is basically the beginning area, and uh, that is really nice, because, I don't know, the Moshai, yeah, the Moshai is alright, but uh, not exactly uh, where I want to stay in for a long period of time. And it, uh, I guess that one, uh, what are they called, Muscovite Lord decided to back off. Probably because Kursk is under siege, and uh, that from us. No, the Swedish, uh, yeah, they are upset, I guess you could say. To say the least, they're upset. Yeah. They're, uh, they want to take Kursk. I don't want to get too close, but uh, I'm kind of curious as to how that's going to pan out. And I'm not going to uh, burn a village right near them. So, ooh, Tulla is under siege as well. Muscovites are under siege everywhere around here. Which I suppose is a good thing. Keep them on, uh, keep them busy on multiple fronts. All right, let's go to the marketplace and sell all the loot that we robbed. Um, wow, it's a lot of money in this place. Thought I was going over. I didn't bother to look in the beginning. Uh, can I sell all of it? Yes, just barely though. All right, let's get some honey for the party and some sausage. Excellent. You definitely want to make sure you keep a good supply of food, otherwise things can get a little bit dangerous uh, in terms of morale. And let's actually go to the tavern. Wow, a lot of people here. Hmm. Mercenary horseman. A farmer. Hmm. He is busy. Right. Ah. Uh, Eh, no. Alright. Let's head out to... Let's see. Let's go scout uh, Rezhev Fortress. See if uh, we can do anything for them. And uh, basically, after this, I, uh, I'm i going to start basically uh, doing a bunch of quests for particularly the king of the uh, Polish and also many of the lords, so I can hopefully join them pretty quickly. I'm aiming for... by part 10. And uh, you may think that that's a little bit, uh, you know, far-stretched, like I should be able to get it before them, but sometimes the king is real just bastard when it comes to actually allowing you into his, uh, his circle of lords, but... Uh, Sometimes you get really lucky and he'll accept you immediately, like if there's a huge war going on and he's in uh, kind of dire straits for more lords, he might accept you immediately. It all kind of depends on the situation. Alright, so let's go find the king, see if I can uh, find him here. Uh, where is he? Okay, I have no idea where he is. Let's go to Warsaw, he's probably there. Uh, where's Warsaw again? I always forget where places are. Uh, somewhere right around there. I actually think that uh, the Swedish took uh, this castle from us, like when we were at war, because it's kind of like splitting up our kingdom a little bit. So that is a definite possibility. All right, yeah, I'm quite a ways away, but. Uh, Nice little run. Yeah, my um, my expenses for my party upkeep now have reached about 600 Thaler, so that's uh, this is getting to be a bit much, but uh, I, I do raid cities often to, you know, get more money. 
And uh, once I actually invest in some cities and like get uh, certain land holdings inside the cities that will give me interest, then uh, I can start focusing more on just gaining money from that, and I won't have to start burning villages. Right. Or continue burning villages, I should say. Alright, go to the fortress. And the king is not here, but uh, this guy is. Uh, any... What news have we from... Okay. Oh, that's not good. Uh, troubled times have befallen the Republic of the Gentry. The fires of Cossack Rebellion have scorched Ukraine. Just as the soldiers of the Crown overcame the Cossacks, so has Hetman Hemelinsky sworn allegiance to the Russian Tsar. I heard that the Tsar of Moscow has levied war against the Polish King. These words are true. A great host has entered Lithuania, and together with the Cossacks, it threatens our forces. What of the Tatars? The Tatars are now our allies and fight with us against the Cossacks. However, their, al their alliance is frail. Today they may cast their lot with us, but tomorrow, co but come tomorrow, if yada 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 allows them to take taxes from Ukrainian villages, they might once more side with the Cossacks. And what of the King of Sweden? The new King of Sweden, Karl Gustav, thinks, thinks only of how to bribe Polish magnates and invade the lands of the Great Poland. He gathers his men and bides his time until we are bled white by our war with Muscovy. Dear, dear, the situation is worse than ever. Any crisis, as the Latin scholars say, is an opportunity. Wars blaze up one after the other, and nations once unconquerable may one day tremble like leaves in the wind. Old dynasties pass and make way for new ones. Why do you speak of this? To show you that if you fight for the Polish Commonwealth, you have much to gain. What? The Polish Commonwealth is a mighty nation. Fighting on your side would be an honor. Wait, am I part of the Polish? This guy's not the king, though, but... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. That, that would be a real shock to me, I'll be honest. You have made a choice taking the side... Now... You shall have to serve your lord hand and foot. There is no way back, and the journey ahead is long and perilous. Yet you shouldn't expect the region to accept you as a noble right away. You shall have to earn your lord's trust with much labor and honest service. Okay. Well, I cannot think of a better way to end this part, guys. We have uh, basically entered the uh, Polish Republic. Uh, other than... Uh, well, we have to serve the Lord hand and foot, but uh, we're not exactly considered a Lord yet. But uh, we're close enough to it, from what I can understand. Uh, we're siding with the Polish, is what it's basically saying. Um, yeah, let's read this really quick. These are perilous times for the Polish Commonwealth. It is beset by enemies on all sides, the Swedes, the Muscovites, and the Cossacks. Poland needs a hero who shall stand in the way of the Swedish Delul. I cannot say that. Delul? De deluge? I, I don't know. A hero who would make the unruly gentry rethink their ways and stand as one to defy the enemy. So, yeah, this is where I'm going to call the part, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this part to Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword since, unexpectedly, we have uh, basically joined the Polish Republic. So, Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys soon with some more Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword Polish campaign. See ya.